that ice. Holy shit. See where all the snow is hitting? Right I on feel your... really powerful. Oh, hi. Hi. You must be Asa. Yes, are you Rex? I am. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you for yeah. having us. You want to learn how to do an ice sculpture? Yeah, I'm, I'm awesome. actually looking for a hobby. Do you work with like a lot of movies and celebrities and stuff? I'm lucky to say that uh, I cross paths with celebrities all the time, so it's pretty cool. Like, I don't know if you've seen Mordecai, that new movie that's I haven't out. seen it yet, but I want oh, to so well, bad. There's a giant seven-foot mermaid uh, in the movie that uh, I'm pretty excited about. Is that your favorite kind of project when it's like seven feet? Oh, definitely. Big or, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I like to get challenged. So. Right. We're, today we're going to challenge you. So okay. Get to yeah. Make a nice no, yeah. Through. I'm not ready for anything like seven foot. I would suggest that maybe we could try to make uh, something like this, which is tropical fish. Does that okay. sound good to you? Yeah. I mean, I can't even imagine like turning a piece of ice into something like that. So well, whatever you say. Yeah, we'll take it step by step and okay. I'll, I'll walk you through it. How's that? Cool. Let's do it. So what's this? Oh, these are the machines where I make the ice blocks. So you just fill each one up and this yeah. becomes one ice cube? Yeah, Englewood's best. How many do you make in like uh, whatever? Well, I do eight at a time. It takes like four days. So I basically make Four days? Yeah, per make block. make one ice cube? Yeah, it uses a ton of electricity. But since it takes four days to freeze them, maybe we'll just go in the freezer where they're all ready to go. I don't think we have four days to waste. No. All right, <laughs> let's do that. This is my <gasps> freezer. It's so cold! It's a little cold. I hate this! <laughs> well, we won't be in here long. Okay. So here's a, a couple of 300-pound blocks. Okay. And I think we'll let you carve this one, and I'll carve this one. So we're going to use these tongs. Okay. You grab it, and then you just kind of drag it out. Excellent. So take it on out of here if you want. It's so fucking cold. <laughs> this is like CrossFit. All right. You get that okay? That was the hardest part, right? That is. So from here on, you shouldn't need the tongs. Okay. But you will need to wear this rubber apron. So go ahead and try that on for size. The reason you wear this is because all the snow is gonna hit you right in the stomach. Okay, got and it. So this way you won't get soaking wet like, like I will. You ready to get started? Yes. All right, so this is an awl, which is for scratching ice like that. Okay. And what we're gonna do first is scratch the shape onto the ice and then just cut it out two dimensionally. Normally, you would just kind of do it, and you know, you want to just sort of like this general shape of the fish. Basically, just get that the shape. Does not look like that at all. I know. All right. Got saw here that I got set up for you. But take that in your hands. Oh my god, it's so heavy. Oh all my right, god. So just pull the trigger and test it out. I have to hold them both simultaneously. Just to get it started. Right, go ahead and do that. So what we're going to do is trace what you drew and see what it looks like before we cut it out. Okay. All right, so go ahead and go for it. Awesome. All right. Wow. Try to stay on your line. Okay. So I'm it, trying. It's kind of in the wrist. That is me trying. It's looking pretty good. All right. I think we're ready to cut these things out. Okay. There's two ways you can use this is you can stab in. And then another way is you just get at the top and cut it this like that. This is very dangerous. 
Yeah. I've only hit myself once or twice. And like oh, okay. I said before, if you die here, we'll just put you in the freezer. So right. it's no problem. Cool. So if you just put that in this crack and kind of push it, that piece will probably fall off. Right. Woohoo! Excellent. Look at that. Whoa, it's like really it's starting, starting to look like something. Yeah, it's starting to look like a fish. Do you want to try the chisel? Yeah. What you do is probably use that side down and round that side. There was a moment I was sitting like this and it was just like spraying into my crotch. I was like, that is so cold. Hey, so I got this nifty little tool. We can use it for the fish's eye. And then at the end, we'll put line stripes on the fish and everything so it looks really cool. And I do that with the chainsaw. Oh my God, it's so cute! Isn't that cute? It's actually really cool. It has like this kind of thick throat area thing happening. It's, it's like a blowfish. Kind yeah, of yeah, right. that's right. You happy with it? I'm like super impressed with myself right now. Good, all like, right. Like it's pretty shitty, but it's so much better than I had imagined. That's it, I'm done with porn. I'm just gonna be a nice carver now. <laughs> All right, that was ice sculpting. Um, this was a really, really rewarding experience. When we first started, I was uh, a lot intimidated. Seeing the cube of ice and drawing into it, I'm not very good at drawing. And then like, I kept losing my place and like forgetting where I drew. And then once I was holding the saw, it felt like such a commitment. Like once I shave into this piece of ice, it's done. Like that piece is gone forever. I don't know, like I'm like really, really proud of this. Thank you to Rex at LA Ice Art. I had a lot of fun. I think this is something I definitely want to try again and like get better at and maybe something a little bit closer to this one. I can't wait to see what's next. Boxing is actually a lot of legs. If you don't have your legs, you can't move. You're going to be in trouble. Come on, hold oh. it, hold it, come on. Touch. Oh, fucking Touch. shit. Touch. Have you ever rented anything out to like a porn production? A lot of this stuff here would probably glow under a black light. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's half of the hill. Okay. All right, put it back in the porch. Okay. I don't, oh I'll be God. gentle. Okay. It's your first time. Oh, okay. Oh my God, it gets so hot. Do we need lubricant? No, just the, no. this. No. This the best lube. No, I'm going in dry then. <laughs> Maybe a dolphin? Do you think we could do a huge penis? <laughs> you no, know, your tail's better than mine. No, it's not. <laughs> Yeah. These are like some dick-sucking lips. Uh-huh, I know. <laughs> well.